what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a classic from 1975. This fragrance has been requested for me to review by so many subscribers, not only in YouTube comments on videos, but on my Instagram page as well. And I finally got myself a bottle. Again, 1975 from the house of Jeffrey Bean. It is the Oriental Woody fragrance gray flannel, the original gray flannel. So as usual in my fragrance reviews, we're going to break down the fragrance by looking at its presentation. Then I'm going to talk about the notes. Then I'm going to talk about its performance on my skin. Then I'm going to go over my overall thoughts. And then of course, give it the overall rating. Uh, before we review gray flannel, I do want to say if it is your first time here and you enjoy what you see in the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button to support the channel. And if you have an Instagram and want to go ahead and check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel. And then of course, photos of fragrances from my collection. So let's get this review going. All right, so let's take a look at the presentation. So this is a tester bottle. As you can see here, it's kind of got this dark green transparent glass, uh, gray flannel, eau de toilette. It's a Jeffrey B. New York here. You, nothing really going on on the back, just that sticker, you got a sticker there. And then of course you got the serial number and batch code and embossed in the glass says made in France. Looks like the serial number for this one is 9PB1. I don't have the box because I got it as a tester, but I'm sure you've all, all seen it before. It's like a dust bag or sock with a drawstring that it comes into. Um, here is the cap. You, know, you can hold it by the cap. It's got a, a silver atomizer. Atomizer, let's see, distribution is pretty decent. It comes out, it comes out you know, nice and wide. Doesn't project that far. Um, pretty basic presentation for gray flannel. All right, so let's talk about the notes for gray flannel. Just like many fragrances of the era, it's got a lot of notes. Um, so in the top, you're going to get galvanum, pedigree, neroli, lemon, and bergamot. And then in the heart of the fragrance, the middle notes are violet, iris, geranium, mimosa, sage, narcissus. Not sure if I'm saying that right. And of course, rose. And then in the base, you have oak moss, vetiver, cedar, tonka bean, and almond. So that's an interesting note breakdown. What I definitely get right away is the citrus and then the floral notes. Those are the most dominant notes in the fragrance. I'm not picking up on much else. I don't think either I don't have the trained nose or it's just, you know, there are notes that are in there that kind of um, complete the smell, but you're not gonna be able to pick up on them. But citrus and floral notes are what I get a lot of with gray flannel. So the performance for gray flannel on my skin is, is pretty good. I'm getting a full work day. So it's at a minimum of eight hours and that's probably with um, three sprays. So it's a very strong fragrance. It projects really heavily in the beginning. So, you know, you're gonna have a large scent bubble around you, I would say for a good two hours. And then maybe the second phase of the fragrance life cycle, cycle excuse me, it's going to be, um, you know, within a foot radius around you, but it's gonna be a skin scent, maybe at hour nine to 10, but it's definitely gonna get you through a full work day. So it's good performance, uh, especially for the price of this fragrance. So you don't wanna spray too much because it can be overpowering. All right, guys, so my overall thoughts for our gray flannel by Jeffrey Bean. Let's just put some on a tester strip here because it's just filling the room. Um, this stuff is so toxic. It's like straight mustard gas. <laughs> the opening is like a really harsh, piercing lemon pledge, you know, counter sanitizer smell, like very synthetic, very overpowering, so sharp it, it burns. And then it dries down to this like musky, not musky, musty, old, dusty like it smells exactly my girlfriend even said it she said it smelled exactly like the title said gray flannel it's like you took an old shirt stuffed a bunch of dryer sheets in it put it in the closet for 30 years and then maybe stuck some mothballs in them in the shirt you know periodically throughout the three decades and then you take it out that's exactly what it smells like this stuff is awful i don't know why people love it uh and everyone said oh you got to try gray flannel and i've seen some hate and I've seen some, you know, love for it. So it's absolutely polarizing. There's going to be a, a either love it or you hate it. Um, but I hate this. And it's a classic and it's disgusting. And I was reading that uh, the famous mobster, John Gotti, he used to, to wear this and loved it. And, and maybe the vintage was on a whole other level. I'm sure I'm going to get a million comments saying that. But this stuff is so bad. It's, it's, it, I can't breathe when I, when I spray it on. I, I don't like it at all. I'm really happy that it was dirt cheap. And that's why I bought the tester because it was the cheapest way to get it. And I had a feeling I wouldn't like it. I remember trying eau de gray flannel once or twice, and I can't remember if I like that or not, but I feel like I had the same opinion that it was like too sharp, too piercing. Um, but yeah, it's just like you take a bunch of crumpled up dried old dryer sheets, and that's what it smells like. The, the flowers are like in there, but they're like dead flower notes. So this stuff is, is really, really bad. I absolutely hate it. I would pass on it. I don't think anyone um, over the age, excuse me, under the age of 30 would ever enjoy this. I think maybe even 40s and up would probably be the era. Maybe if you grew up in the 70s, you would appreciate this more. Um, but uh, it's just so awful. 
And, you know, sometimes in the air, there were certain times when I, I got whiffs of it. I'm like, all right, it's, it's tolerable. But when I bring it to my skin and I smell it again, it just has this synthetic lemon pledge cleaner than dead flowers. I hate the flowers. It's over the top floral. It's almost like a um, air freshener scent, like an old school, like 90s, like cheap dollar store air freshener. That's what this smells like. And then again, it also matches its title, gray flannel, an old gray shirt stuffed in a closet that you haven't worn in forever and it smells just absolutely terrible. Um, let's see again, where would I wear this? Uh, aside from nowhere, but I would imagine you'd wanna wear this. This is probably a cold weather only, daytime, I guess casual. Uh, and one spray is enough because it's so over the top. If you like dryer sheets, you like mothballs, you like dead flowers, gray flannel is for you. Um, I was thinking maybe they use this in like World War I movies to like simulate mustard gas uh, on the battlefield, but this stuff is, is so awful and I'll probably never wear it again. So I'm gonna stick it right up on the shelf next to Zeno and his Lonus Green by the House of Afnot, because this is uh, deserving. Thank God it wasn't 75 bucks though. But anyway, this is a really terrible. I don't like it at all. Uh, sorry for anyone that does. All right, guys, time for my overall rating for Gray Flannel by Jeffrey Bean. Presentation, really basic, nothing special here. I don't like that it comes in the sock, drawstring, dust bag. I think that's lame. I'd rather have a box. So, and, and the bottle is a sticker and green glass. Um, it's, it's sort of classic looking, but at the same time, it reminds me of an air freshener or like a bathroom spray, not only in scent, but in the way it looks. So I'm gonna give it a three out of 10 for presentation. Performance, can't deny it is good. It is over eight hours, so I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. And the scent is so bad, I'm gonna give it a two out of 10. That's gonna be an overall rating of four out of 10 for Gray Flannel by Jeffrey Bean. So four out of 10, I would pass on this if you've been considering buying it because it is inexpensive and a lot of times you think out oh, what the hell will throw it in to get free shipping or something that's about as good as it is it's a it's a i bought it to get free shipping sent but uh this is getting shelved for the rest of my life all right guys that was my review of gray flannel by jeffrey bean i would love to hear from you do you like this scent do you are you one of the people that love it are you a diehard gray flannel fan do you have a lot of gray flannel shirts that you wear with your gray flannel uh fragrance or do you hate it like i do please let me know in the comment section i love all the interaction and uh, make sure to subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. The channel is growing. We're coming close to 2,000 subscribers. Once we do hit that, I will do another giveaway for uh, uh, all of you guys to you know take part in. So again, let me know what you think of Gray Flannel. Let me know what you think of the review. I'd love to hear from all of you. Thank you all for hanging out with me today and watching the review. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.